believe me Yeah, now they gon' see me She wanna start all over Green on me like a clover Strapped up living like a soldier Yeah, yeah, yeah Toy gon' come in the morning Yeah, it wasn't easy Yeah, they didn't believe me Yeah, now they gon' see me She wanna start all over Green on me like a clover Strapped up living like a soldier Good morning, you guys. We are headed to class today. I will see you guys when we get there. Bye. Okay, you guys. So we are here. We are here. We are here. We are here. Um. So we don't have class yet. I'm a little bit early. So when we do start class, my nail came off. By the way, if you saw that. Um. When we do start class, I will be back. So bye. Period. You too. Do you know how to taper? Do you know how to taper? Good morning. How are you, Mama? Good. Hi, Ron. Hi, Boomy. I need to learn how to. Okay, you guys, what's up? So, I'm just now leaving class. Things did not go as planned at all, at all. I was supposed to show you guys what I do. I was um, supposed to show you, like, when I'm doing my hair, videotape, all of that, and also talk to you about um, um, happen and when it comes to sorry if you can't see me when it comes to um listening to people I'm a very 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 great listener I try to listen to people because um I had a friend that passed due to suicide and I feel like everybody should be heard I feel like no matter what however long it takes you should take your time out and listen listen to people you never know what they're going through like you never know what people are going through and um by you just listening to them could you know could maybe pause anything that's going through their mind so um i actually listened to i'm not gonna put her name yeah but i won't put her name out or anything I won't put her name out or anything like that because, you know, I want to keep things confidential, confident, 
special. But um, we basically just had a talk. And it was about her and her mother. And um, if you've been watching me, you know I lost my mother. And when, it, when I hear about people not getting along with their parents or, you know, it kind of it, it kind of hurts because it's like I didn't I I don't I don't deal with my dad my my biological dad I don't deal with him um, I don't I don't care for the dude um, I do have a dad that stepped in and that's who I consider my dad um, but when it comes to my mom I feel like females need females definitely need their fathers but they need their mom like. It's a no-brainer. You need your mom, and when I hear that people don't get along with their with their parents, it it, it bothers me. It, it kind of frustrates me, especially when the mom just doesn't want to be a mom. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And you know, normally I would say, um, you're gonna be sad when your mom leaves. And don't cry to anybody when your mom leaves. But now the tables have turned and I can say, when your child, if your child was to commit suicide, baby, it will basically be your fault. And people don't think about that. Like you're so ready for her to get out of the house. I understand that, but as a parent, you should know As a parent, you should know how to speak to your children. You should know how to, okay well this is what we're gonna do you should know how to become a team with your child so they can get out and do what you're trying to get them to do there should be no throwing stuff in their face and you know saying oh you're not this and you're not this because you're not the girl is doing everything the girl is in school hell if you want to be technical child i didn't do nothing when i got out of high school i didn't do nothing thing i was in trouble i was arrested that's a whole nother story, but I was in trouble. I wasn't out here doing nothing. And you have a child that's trying to go to school, that's trying to get an education, that's trying to, you know, do what she needs to do for her hair, to, um, to do hair, to get a coin. And she's going to school. I mean, she's she has a job while she's in school, baby. And she's just getting out of high school. And basically, the mom is just bashing her, like, she says she can't, she feels like she can't talk to her mom. Her mom doesn't know that she thought about committing suicide before. Her mom doesn't know what she likes. Like, that's just crazy. And she said when she tries to even speak to her mom or talk to her mom, she's just like, I'm watching TV or, you know, who wants to feel like that? You should be able to feel comfortable in your house first. You should be okay with home first. And then, you know, cause that explains why she's not really, she's not a confident person. And I'm a loner. Like I've always been a pop popular loner. I like to be alone. I'm okay with being alone. I don't need to be in crowds. I don't like crowds. I, my anxiety is too high to be in crowds. But with her, her confidence is very low. Her self-esteem is very low because it starts, it starts at home. She has no confidence because, you know, she can't even be herself at home. It's it's very sad to me. It's, it's very sad to me when it comes to stuff like that. And you know, suicide rates are very high and losing people in your life is very high. Um, like I said, like I told her, um, and we're not putting any names out on this or anything like that, but plenty of people. You know, when I finally came to my senses, I was like, girl, you need to get on this stuff. You are grown time for you to get out here and, and you know and be a woman and stop acting out for whatever reason you're acting out about um people you know people was like oh when you're gonna when you're gonna leave Louisiana when when you gonna um do this when you gonna do that but in my mind I was like I know I'm gonna leave you know I'm about to show everybody who everybody who think I'm about to be sitting here doing the same old stuff I'm about to show Everybody who thinks I'm about to be sitting here doing the same stuff, you know, I'm about to show y'all. I got something to prove, you know. 
and that's what I was telling her like just show just show her and I said that it has to be your own mom that you have to prove anything to but like I told her show her you know you out here you grinding you doing your thing and you know it's sad that you have to You know your family members should be the last person you should have to you should have to prove anything to but hell do it that that should be your motivation to get out here and do what you need to do continue to do what you're doing continue to do what you're doing she asked me what do i suggest like what 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 did i do and i told her the first mission was to get out of her house because she clearly doesn't want you there and as sad as that sounds it's, it's sad as it is you know, you just gotta be, you, you gotta be real with yourself. So the first, the first step is to get out of her house. So what she needs to do is to save up and do what she needs to do. If she can find maybe a homegirl that's okay with, um, bonking up, get an apartment together, then that, that, that needs to be goal number one. Okay, so what are you gonna do? You have a job. But you might want to be starting doing doing hair for real on the side. You you might want to you might want to get another hustle and start looking up little apartments that you can save up for that you can be like, okay, well I need to save up this amount of money, this amount of money to make sure I'm straight. Yeah, and I told her she needed to uh, take notes and note to herself how much she needs to save up to do what she needs to do to move out because at this point you know she she needs to start making some moves some moves on her own because she's not going to be happy where she is um i told her she can she should she can come hang out with me she can come stay with me for days at a time if she wants to to, to clear her head if that can uh, make her more more focused and you know give her time to actually jot down jot down notes to get her mind right um i also told her that she should try to have a conversation with her mom to maybe sit her down and you know try to explain what's going on she said she did it before but i said could try it again to see if you know things could be different this time but yeah i told her a lot of stuff and basically we just had like a, a deep ass conversation and I'm a great listener you know like I said before I, I I like listening to people's problems because shit I've been through a lot of shit too and you know sometimes you I'm not a person that I don't I don't I don't speak on them I don't speak on what's going on with me I don't share with people what's going on with me but you know sometimes people some some people everybody's different and some people may need an ear. Some people may may need you to just listen to them and, you know, vent. And at the end, she was like, okay, I just needed to vent. And I was like, girl, like, anytime. If people give give you a vibe of, you know, a loner, a down, a person that's down a lot, you know, just, just go check on them. You don't... You don't never know what them type of people go through or what be going going through people's head. Like, you don't know. So it's always best to go to just check on them. Like shit, give them a compliment or something. Any anything to to make a person stay. You never know. Just never know. But yeah. I still have more videos for y'all, but I just wanted to check in and let y'all know what happened today. But yeah, I've been feeling like sometimes God, God like called me to to help people. Um, I'm, people that are hurt or you know broken are often sent my way for whatever reason. Like, I'll never forget that, you know, I was helping people. I was making sure people straight at my own mother's funeral. I was making sure other people were good. You know, so. 
just have a calling for people. Like, I don't like seeing people hurt. Or whatever. But yeah, y'all. Just make sure y'all check up on people. I don't like closing shit, stuff out like this. On this type of note. So, you guys, pour up. <laughs> pour the fuck up. But until next time, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that bell down below so y'all can be notified once I post a video, period, period, period. Until next time, bye!